it would fall and meet the pool beneath. It would clap like thunder amongst the misty white foam and bubbles. Soft grass adorned the sides of the pool, sparkling with the constant light splash of the waterfall. The rocks seemed to glow and shine with the liquid dampening them, making them slippery and bright. Around the pool, large, thick-leaved tropical trees and vines wrapped their way around it, protecting the pool from outsiders. Their leaves were a vibrant dark green, slathered with sparkling water, and their bark was a deep brown, from which dark shadows. A clear, yellow liquid oozed from some of the trees, its scent sweet as honey. Within the pool, not even fish were swimming. The water was clear, and sparkling rocks at the bottom added to its beauty. Under the water's surface, these rocks shimmered like underwater stars. It was as if they had fallen from heaven simply to adorn the bottom of this pool. But above the pool, a hidden darkness awaited. For, above the pool, a snake coiled itself within the branches of the trees. Its scales were a deep brown, deeper than the bark, with a diamond-like texture slithering down its head and back. Glowing, yellow eyes, fluted pupils, lamb blinking at the water below. They awaited the next victim, one foolish enough to try and taint the pool with their mortal souls.